Hey, my name is Dan and today I'm gonna show you how to transform almost any slideshow template that has a modular structure into a trailer titles. Here is an example before. And here is an example of what we are gonna create today. As an example, I will use my slideshow project called This is Epic. This is a slideshow and you can find the link in the description. But all these principles are general and can be applied to almost any other project that has a modular structure. And let's begin. At first, let's find the slice placeholders and select the slides we want to use as our titles. They are usually can be found in such folders as titles or slice or something like that. I will pick up the titles 15, 16 and 17 because I love them the most. Let's create a new composition, set the resolution and as this is a tutorial I will set the duration to 8 seconds. Also, I've got a pre-made 8 seconds edit from my upcoming project. I made this edit from a video called Aiden Sheen Insight. The soundtrack I used is called Epical and it's made by Sky Productions. You can find all the links in the description. Select the titles, drag and drop them into new composition, adjust the length and import the footage. Right click on the project panel, import, file. Select the file, drag and drop it on the timeline and let's take a look where we should place our titles. Well, according to the beats and waveform, it should be somewhere right here, here and here. Let's take a look where the composition starts and adjust the beginning of the text. In my case, text layers are text1 and text1.1. As you can see, the text1 visibility is disabled because uh, we have a concrete texture behind it. But we won't touch the concrete texture, we will adjust only the text layer. Bring them a little bit earlier. Now let's place the text layers right in the center. Enable the title action save to see the center of the composition and place the text right in the center. Hit S. Let's set the scale to 350. Place the text 1.1 a little bit to the top. And we can see that our text is right in the center. Repeat the same steps for the title 16. Scale also 350. And of course, absolutely the same with the title 17. Now let's import the footage for the background. Go to title 15, then title 15 background, drag and drop the footage, Control alt shift h or command option shift h to fit the comp width, find some pretty shot and we found it for title 15. Don't forget to switch off the sound of the title. Now let's get to the title 16. Oh, and I forgot to change the title 16 text beginning and also title 17. So let's change it now. Let's get back to the titles background. Now it's title 16. I found the sweet moment number 2. Looks pretty nice. I've also made it for the title 17 and it looks great. After that let's make all the background tinted red. Go to title 15. At the very bottom find the black solid 50. Hit M to go to mask and remove the inverted checkbox. We want to fill the background with red, not to remove it. Go to the third keyframe and adjust the mask to fill all the background with red. The same steps for the title 16. Remove the keyframe, adjust the mask. I won't touch the mask on the title 17 because I like how it looks, but I would like to adjust this big text because uh, our main text is bigger now and it almost intersects it. Select text 1.11, 1, drag it a little bit down to the bottom, hit R to go to rotation to make the text and the line parallel. Also you can move the text layer to find the word that fits best. And now let's get back to comp1 to see how it looks.
As you can see, the text comes up a little bit late, so I will adjust the title 15 length. And we can see the appearance of the title 17, so changing the length here too. We want to see each title to start from the camera movement on every beat. Title 15 looks great, but uh, on a title 16 text appears a little bit late. Plus, I would like to add some flicker to it. On a title 17, I also want the text to appear at this moment. Let's go to title 17, select the text 1 and text 1.1, move them to the left on a timeline, go back to the main comp, and now let's make the same with the title 16. To add the flicker, go to title 15, select the particles comp 15, the lower one, hit T to go to opacity, select all the keyframes and copy them by hitting Ctrl C. Go back to title 16, text 1 layer, hit T to go to opacity and Ctrl V to paste all the keyframes from the title 15. As you can see, our text is flickering. Let's take a look. Well, I wanna say I like it. This is the way to transform almost any slideshow with the modular structure, where all the slides are in separate compositions, into a trailer titles. Of course, you have to edit the footage by yourself, but if you have a slideshow that you like very much and you want to use it in your trailer or something like that, that's your option. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorials.